QCup Pro is a video editing software. To get started, just click on the app after downloading it. See the plus sign? Click that to start a new movie. Once you name your movie, you're ready to get started. Simply pick whether you want HD, landscape, or portrait, and then your background color. The main menu looks like this. To add material, click the plus sign. Let's start with video. Notice when you open it, your camera roll pops up. Simply choose a video from your camera roll to input into the software. From here, you can do a number of things, like add text, add music, add photographs, add your own voice recording, even a self-drawing. Let's go into the text. When you click text, you are allowed to put the material wherever you like. At first it will be in the middle, but then it allows you to move it using a simple drag method. Let's talk about adding music now. You can push music as long or short as you like. You can pick music that they provide, or you can pick music from your shared files, from your iPad, or anything in your library. Let's add something from their mix. You can do anything from sound effects or a little music. The music you hear in the background of this is called Cheerful. Let's talk about adding voice now. Adding voice to the video is simple. Just put the blue marker where you want to add voice and hit the voice button. It'll start recording as soon as you hit it. Add, chop, or drop the voice wherever you wish. The blue marker is critical. Wherever you want to input the information or content, the blue marker must be on that spot. To replay anything or to check things out, hit the play sign at the top right. Once your video is complete and all the editing is accomplished, go ahead and hit the button just to the left of the play sign. This button allows you to export to the album, your camera roll, email, YouTube, or Facebook. The easiest way for me is to do YouTube, simply because some of the videos can be too long to input into an email. Choose the type of quality that you want for your video, either high, medium, or low. From there, it will start to export it into one file. Once it's finished exporting into one file, you're set to post, whether on YouTube, like you see here, or through email, like you see here as an attachment.